There's a lot that can be blamed for Knight Rider's second generation's downfall. And depending on who you are, and you know who you are, I'm sure you have your own complaints. From the very beginning of the first episode, A Knight in Shining Armor, it was very clear that there was a ton of work that had to be done. We got a taste of this fact during the two-hour uh, two-hour pilot, which aired on February 17, 2008. The executive producers simply just didn't get it right. We barely see the new, or we, we barely see the original kit, Night Industries 2000. And what we do see of Night Industry 2000 kit is kit in parts? Huh? I mean, are you kidding me here? This is the way you want us die-hard Knight Rider fans to remember one of the greatest icons in the history of TV vehicle cars? Kit? Oh, the words kid would say of getting word of this. Michael, I'm speechless. And to make things worse, the voice isn't even the original voice voiced by William Daniels. Many people didn't even give second generation gang a chance to do anything based on the fact that the Night Industry 3000 was a... well... I'm not quite sure that I can that I can say it right, so I'll just put it on to the screen now. I will be the first one in line to admit that I didn't like it. I didn't like it either. You have to be willing to accept change, which in this case was so very hard to do, even for me. But the fact that... No, actually. But at the same time, you have to be very honest with yourselves with, with the technology that the Night Industry 3000 possessed and the technology that the Night Industry 3000 possessed, uh, that kind of high-tech technology put in... The original Night Industry 2000 um, didn't. This basically just wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It was unreal, and it would just simply unrealistic. That would have been like um, <laughs> simply like putting the, this cartoon helicopter technology and putting it into Airwolf. It would have been like putting the technology in this toy rocket and putting it into the space shuttle. And it would have been like Raw Zombie going country. Not pretty. Get the point? But with all of the failures Knight Rider second generation faced, Budget cuts, rewrites, reboots, so on and so on. Not to mention Barack Obama's effort to present himself to the American audience, to the American public, put Knight Rider, which was, which by the way, by the way, was beginning much needed steam in the ratings. See, Night Rider Second Generation was finally, the, the producers and the writers was finally, finally, finally started to get it right. It, just, it started to feel right. The ratings started to go up as an effort, as a response to this. And Barack Obama put himself on TV, which put Night Rider in a bye week. This took place on October 29th of 2008. And, 
Night of the Living Dead, which was supposed to air on October 29th, didn't air until November 5th of 2008. Because of this, it killed Knight Rider Second Generation. Because of this, the ratings never picked up the, the much-needed momentum, the steam that was there on October, 22, on October 22nd of 2008. It was gone. And it never, ever was the same again after that. The, that is not only a shame, but unacceptable. Not right when the writers, the executive producer, was just getting it right, and the show was finally started to feel like the original, Barack Obama popped up his head and ruined everything. That was wrong. Damn wrong. And totally unfair to us diehard Knight Rider fans. To make matters even worse, a Angelina Broom said the NBC president uses this as an excuse, not to mention the fact that she didn't like it in, in the first place, cuts the show off at the knees on May 19, 2009. NBC announced that they would not renew Night Rider's second generation for a second season. Angelina, there, my dear, is one thing that you should always and remember, and for that matter, and never forget who puts all that fine money in your pockets. We do, the audience, the fans. Why, you ask? Simply, honey. Very simply and very simple. See, there's a thing called the rating system. See, the more shows we, the audience, watches on your network, which happens to be NBC, the more money the network, that being NBC, makes. And the more money the network makes, the more money you have in your pockets. See, that's how it works, right? That's how it works. Not the only because the ratings didn't pick up or didn't pick back up after Obama placed his his ugly liberal ass on TV on your network didn't mean that we didn't want to see the show. Not right a second generation. No. It didn't see what happened was everybody got confused. And when the show was going to come back on, no one knew about it. You see, not see, not everybody out there know or knows about NightRiderOnline.com. And no one knew when the show was going to go back on the air. And to take our show, Night Rider, away from us like that, it's very, very wrong. I mean, you just cannot just automatically think and therefore assume that you know what we're thinking and what we are wanting to see on your TV network. Clearly, you don't. And based on those facts, and those facts alone, I say bring back Night Rider Second Generation. Let's see how it really does in the ratings. And, and Angela, you, you owe us that right. And I really hope that you reconsider and renew Night Rider's second generation for a second season. Seriously, and quite honestly, really, and truly, what harm 
can there really be in giving that rider a second chance? It's cheap. It doesn't cost that much to make. It's a fun ad it's a fun show to watch. It just, like I say, it doesn't cost you anything. Simply put, put Knot Rider second generation back up for a second season and let's see truly how it turns out. Hey, give it the benefit of the doubt, why don't you? Give it a second chance. If it fails, fine, it fails. If it doesn't, well then, you got a winner. See, you can't lose. If it's a hit, you win. If it doesn't, well, distractions. I mean, come on. Give it, a, give it another chance. Give it a second chance. And let's see how this bad boy really and truly turns out to be. Come on. What do you say? Give it a second chance.